other than what you have hidden away in your extra dimensional pockets and shit, no possessions. This oh, includes for those of you with nanites and shit, those are gone too. Okay? Like yeah, what about? Out, like little critters. Um the matrix powers will work continue to yes. work just fine. But uh let's see, followers of Indigo I uh, AI, you're fucked. No robots with you. Where are they? You don't know. As far as your normal possessions and shit, and possibly even your uh, indigo robots, those are all safely back at re uh, red carpet. I'm just going to tell you that for free so you don't have to panic about it and don't fucking angrily throw away papers with all those possessions. All that shit is back with... <laughs> uh, let's see. And So you said anything in pocket. So... The like Highlander shit. Highlander shit is what I mean by the extra dimensional pockets. Those are okay. So if Pete's got his fucking kukri in there or whatever, I got my day. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, there may be other shit on you guys, but I'm going to uh, uh, let you know about um, each of you guys has two uh, uh, tarot cards on you. And I'm just going to tell you which two each of you have, okay? Right. So okay. I'm, going to it. I'm going to actually record it this time. <laughs> really? Um, and, <laughs> just, and I'm just going to play a card um, before we get too far and get cards that get rid of this card. Spark of Divinity. Good man. And I'm going to raise my learning. I will draw four cards. Oh, it's not. You're, you're not at 20 yet, Peter? Not learning, no. It's 19 now. Oh, God damn. All right. So, uh, Chris, your two tarot cards. And by the way, if you guys give a shit as to which deck it is, it's the Rider Weight tarot deck. If you so know, they look to them. be the same cards as we've previously gotten that we looked Correct. at? Correct. Uh, Chris, your two cards are Judgment and the Ace of Wands. Matthew, you have the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentagrams or pentacles, as they call it. Pentacle. Queen of testicles, okay. And Peter, you have the five of wands or five of staves and the four of staves or four of wands, depending on how you name them. Uh, no explanation. They seem to be just your average tarot cards and shit. But more... All right, so that makes 18 yeah. tarot cards that we know of. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Opening scene. <laughs> There's a feeling of falling in several bright flashes, something that sounds like a clumsy robot on bad hydraulics trying desperately to do something with the crackling of fire close by. At this point, everybody steps through some sort of gate which deactivates behind you. There's a strong smell of the ozone there. The gate itself kind of is about the size of the Stargate from the, the movie and shit, um, except that it seems to be really old. Parts of it are made of stone, wood, even some packed earth. There's a couple of guys with shaved heads and brown uniforms who are intently watching the gate. The room itself that you're in is old brickwork. Now the interesting part, you're with a whole bunch, maybe 50-ish other scared looking 11 year olds. You guys are also 11 years old. Everybody give me a sanity roll. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, take a card as, yes, this has literally happened to you before. I am fine with that. Anybody who succeeds their Sandy roll, it's one point. It goes toward form changing, which maxes at 30. Also, the only thing that really happens to you in this form is your, your damage dice is two places reduced for weapons powered by your might. So if you find daddy's gun, that's at full damage. But if you uh, pull out your sword and try to use that, your two dice down. So your D8 goes, or in Matt's case, is, is fucking chainsaw fucking. moves down to a normal sword. I fucking hate you. Oh, so curious. Uh, what, what is it if you fail? Sorry. If you fail, it's D4. 
it's not a huge deal, but you know, you're not going to go crazy, which is great. But what was sorry, the it, max? it froze just as so, you were telling me what the dice so, was. Sorry. Thirty max, please. D four. Yeah, maximum of uh, thirty. What okay. the, what's, the, what's the name of it again? Uh, Trent. Form changing. Form changing. Form changing. Yeah. Now, if you get into some really horrific shit, like a, a Cthulhu or something, the the sand max may increase. But this is for stuff that uh, is Logan's expecting at this time. Now, also, all of the other kids, male, female, all of them have the same lack of hair you guys do. My hair would be considered a bit longish. Okay. Also, there's a sharp smell of urine, as one of the kids seemed to have pissed himself. About half Sorry. the kids, <laughs> about half the kids have uh, epicanthic folds, like the the Asian type uh, eyes. For those who don't know that weird word, uh, all of the kids are dressed a bit differently. Uh, although uh, you guys are all wearing very standardized clothing that looks well used, reused, and handed down like some sort of very poor uniform. Um, the kids' emotions, give me empathy rolls to get a general group feeling. In addition to the two guys in gray, there's also a dude with weird eyes. I'll give you his picture later, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, he's got weird eyes. A half order. Matt? Uh... Uh, MC is a yes. Great. Uh, the the kids' reactions are anywhere between uh, scared, wet themselves, on up to excited and eager. Okay. So there's a wide, wide range of fucking hmm. emotions and shit here. Um, the guy with the odd eyes uh, addresses the group and he says, uh, "Yes." Um, well, I would like to, and at this point, his gaze falls. Matt, make sure there's no personal information printed on the back of your fucking sheet because it's I had to edit that shit out before. Map is fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> had to go through and fucking edit it to get your dress and shit off of the internet. Um, <laughs> the, the man says, I would like to, and then he spots you three with the, the glowing eyes, and he says, Excuse me for a moment, <laughs> won't you? And he slowly backs away, and then he turns and strolls down the hallway. Give me uh, listen rolls. He's strolling very casually. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. Going around the corner. Got it. Okay. Got it. Uh, those of you who made it, the walk turns into a run. Just run after him. <laughs> Are you running after him? Yes. All right, uh, one of the kids makes a prayer for freedom, and uh, one of the guys in brown just holds up his hand, like, uh, he's not trying to be threatening, but he just, like, holds up his hand, like, whoa, stay. High five. Do I... <laughs> I'm a kid, so... <laughs> brown... <laughs> um, what's Matt doing? Brown, <laughs> get out of my way. I know your master. He owes me one. Now shut up. Move. <laughs> Matt, stop bobbing your leg. It's going to make them crazy when they watch this. Uh, he's like, "Sir, just wait here for a moment, would you please?" Do we uh, get do do we get the sense of you know that thing of there are others that we are friends with? No, blah blah blah. That we've uh, had yes, when we're you, you all have the. Uh, uh, you know that your two buddies are are here. Each of you knows that your two buddies are here, and one of them is apparently high fiving the guy in brown who looks totally baffled, like, What in the fuck is going on? I kick him in the nuts. And oh, shit. <laughs> Give me an unarmed <laughs> roll, man. <laughs> kick roll. Uh, no. He, he just puts his hand on your head and holds <laughs> you back for a while. <laughs> sir, sir. Uh, um. Doc, Alex, is that you? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Everybody give me a spot hidden roll. Maybe, maybe. Spot Quit. hidden. Huh. Those of you who make spot hidden, give me empathies. If you don't make spot hidden, don't worry about the empathy. <clears throat> Quit. God <laughs> damn it, Matt. He goes... <laughs> <laughs> right. Those, those of you who make it, the spot and the empathy, 
they're one of the little girls. Like everybody else has kind of moved away from you guys. Like, oh shit, because you guys all have fucking flashlight heads. And except for this one little girl who has this just mop of unruly hair and kind of greasy skin, she looks at you guys like um uh fierce joy like a little bit of surprise and then yeah like the oh yeah fuck yeah type of thing and then she's trying to make her face real neutral i mean but um i thought you said all the kids had shaved heads they do oh shit yeah uh, well her eyebrows are in really then <laughs> 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 take a card peter you horrible man uh so by the way some of the kids are dressed really uh well like uh, as opposed to you guys you guys are dressed like this was available uh you hear people coming back as you're saying there the little girl she looks at you and goes Uh, the she looks threatening while she's saying that. Uh, you don't think so, but it, yes, but not toward you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. It, she's a kind of disturbing kid, though. She's one of those kids that if it was your daughter, then you would think your name is Officer Allman. Anyway, <laughs> um, Logan, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play cram course, uh, spend a hero point, and I'm gonna put ten percent into parkour for the hell of it. Do you have the prereqs of parkour? Yep, I got acrobatics, climb, sprint, long jump, and uh, jump, run, long run distance and jump. All at sixty or better, yeah. Yep. Wow, well, fuck yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. So, um, wait, uh, make... well, sorry, just just uh, just to let you know as well, you might want to. Uh, think about rewriting that card because at the moment it's uh, still at uh, zero where you should just say base because nothing's at zero anymore is it really yeah that's yeah, right. good point. yeah it should, that should be a learning plus 10 um i've just dropped it i don't know if you need to actually activate it but you can just take see. it be right what's the card called uh cram course cram course be right Gram course card. Thank you, Matthew. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, uh, right. Mildred. Mm. Oh, Bumgardner. No, it's yeah. it's it's not Mildred Bumgardner. But um, hold on, let me continue on with this. Right, the uh, the guys come back with uh, two other. Uh, people. One's a hard-faced man. The other's a very tough-looking uh, black lady. They come back, or they all come in. They stop. They look around. They see you guys. They look at you for a while. And uh, the lady uh, says, are you okay? Are you feeling calm? He tried to kick me, says <laughs> the brown guy and pointing at uh, uh, Alex. They all look at you guys. Empathy rolls. What is this shenanigans? Everything's going to be fine, says the guy with the got strange it. eyes. <clears throat> yeah, got it. They're figuring out if uh, you guys are okay or if they need to kill you. Hmm. I'd like to see them try. What's going on, Kurtz? <laughs> <laughs> they look at each other like... And... Uh, Excuse us a moment. They all go around the corner. Give me listen rolls at negative 30. They're trying not to be overheard. Nah. Anybody mm. make it? That's okay. a hard one. Yep. I need to check yep. on that one. Okay. Yes. Right. What Holmes hears, uh, you, the lady goes, they just yes. arrived through the gate with the others. What do we do? The hard face guy goes, none are blue or yellow eyed. We simply keep an eye on them. If they're patrons or them don't cause trouble, we teach them like any other student. Lady, and if they do cause trouble, the uh, hard face guy goes, the sorting should tell us if they intend to do that at least. If they get through, then uh, but cause trouble later, well, training is dangerous. Lady goes, I understand those bastard colors. They're just kids. Hard face guy goes, I don't need to tell you about things shaped like kids. No, sir, you do not. The hard man uh, then says, normal in processing, if you please, Mr. Claw. 
The guy with odd eyes goes, very good, headmaster. Two of them I leave. Will, the guy with odd eyes if, comes back around the corner. If Doc and Alex are close enough, I'll blot. I'll relay. Yes, yes. You I'll critical whisper bits. to them. Oh, yeah, okay, relay okay, critical anyway. bits to them. Give me a feel roll, Pete. A feel roll. Yes. Uh, where is my feel? Oh, is there this is... adventure going to feel around? <laughs> yes. I uh, guess I make my feel wrong. <laughs> you feel somebody actually, like, their face is almost touching yours. You can feel it as you're whispering to them. And oh, you look t- over. <laughs> it's the girl with the greasy skin. She looks at you and goes, like that, and then points to your shirt. Everybody I'll give look, me... Look. Okay. I'll look under my shirt. Uh, <laughs> on the inside is a small pocket that has like glasses with dark lenses. I'll pull out. Ah, pull out the glasses. Logan, mm-hmm. can I just say that if you put us into some fucked up kind of Hogwarts, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the the uh, girl gives the other two guys a significant look and kind of jostles uh, uh, Joshua a bit. You got glasses in your shirts, boys. <clears throat> kind of fades back into the rest of the kids a bit more. Cool. Um, right. A, the guy blinks a bit that you're all now wearing dark glasses, shrugs, and goes, Well, those who have bags, please leave them here. They'll be moved to your rooms later after you've been sorted into your houses. You cook. <laughs> You guys are all at this point. I would just like to say to the audience, Welcome to season three, bitches. (laughs) Nine more seasons, Logan. Nine more seasons. (laughs) You guys are all led down a brick quarter, around a corner, down another brick quarter, through some sort of operations room, past a heavily manned security checkpoint with watchful looking armed guards down a pillared corridor, emerging briefly into the outdoors. All the all the pictures and maps will be provided later, don't panic. Through a large courtyard with a fountain in the middle, nighttime vapors caress the building. And with a flourish, the guy wearing glasses opens a big fucking door, which is even bigger because you guys are tiny. And you're ushered into the great hall and then given a sign to wait. There's a shitload of other students sitting on benches, all wearing some sort of different uniforms. Now I can begin showing you some pictures. Yes, I'm sure that none of you knows what the great hall looks like. <laughs> and let's see. Um, okay, now the teachers are wearing some fucked up uniforms and stuff. Here is... Uh, uniforms and uh, some of the hallways you went down and shit like that um it seems that the the uh the different houses are sorted by sleeve color and there's also a certain numbers of pips and it seems the older you are the more pips you get shit like that uh, but more description uh as you can imagine, all the kids are sitting there, and then there's the uh, um, uh, big bench that has the uh, teachers. And here is your first, thank Pete for this, drop box uh, thing I will put in uh, the link. Uh, roll 20 so that you can get them. This is what all the teachers look like, what their name is, and possibly even which class they teach. <laughs> and the guy who's the headmaster, and by the way, these guys do look like this, and uh, it seems like Joshua McKay knows who everybody is already, <laughs> for reasons. Um, <laughs> The, the headmaster says, before we begin the sorting ceremony, I have a few announcements. Welcome to the Shadow Academy. You are here to learn and prepare for your mandatory military service. The forest is strictly out of bounds. 
A years one through three may only practice the obstacle course under the supervision of a sixth year or a teacher. It is hoped that by insisting on this, the number of accidental deaths may be reduced to a more acceptable number. For the upper classes that will be competing this year, we are pleased to announce that we will be hosting the Portal Institute of San Francisco. It's a lot of murmuring all over the hall. Uh, give me empathy rolls. No. Those of you who made their empathy rolls, even the teachers give quick, nervous glances to each other. At this point, the headmaster whip crack intimidates the school into silence. He says, it is just one of those initiatives for peace that our leaders have decided upon. As the Shadow Academy, we will do our part. There will be no lapses in hospitality while they are here. They will also be attending the school dance. More murmuring, more whip crack intimidate. Um, in addition to that, we have some students who seem who serve some of the colors who will be joining us this year. Louder murmurings this is enough to cause him to actually raise his hand. He says, not blue or yellow. I expect them to be treated as any other student. Should I hear otherwise, the names of the offenders will be passed to D.I. Hapablap for additional training. In conclusion, we will have all three of the magically active ranks, Magus, Adept, and Gifted here. The lower ranked ones will have to work harder to prove their merit. But someone who is very motivated can surpass someone of a higher rank through grit and hard work. If you think your Magus rank will get you a free pass into the Shadow Corps, you are sadly mistaken. Everybody looks a bit intimidated at this. Then uh, the guy with the odd eyes, Mr. Claw, the English teacher, he introduces himself as Mr. Claw, the English teacher. He says, I will be walking you through the next part where we can integrate you with the other students. You must be brave. Everyone here has gone through the same thing. Um, the, the start of term banquet will begin shortly, but before you take your seats in the Great Hall, you will be sorted into your houses. The sorting is a very important ceremony because while you are here, your house will be something like your family within the Shadow Academy. You will sleep in the house dormitory and spend free time within the house common room. As he names off the appropriate houses, uh, one, one of each of the four students with the appropriate color slaves briefly steps forward and then back again. The four houses are called Hydra, they have blue sleeves, Dragon with green sleeves, Phoenix with yellow, and House Bobcat with red sleeves. Oh. I wonder which one we're going to get for. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> while you are at Shadow Academy, your triumphs will earn your house points, while any rule breaking will lose house points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup a great honor. I hope each of you will be a credit to whichever house becomes yours. Everybody <laughs> looks at the house Bob. It seems that Alex is losing. Shit. He's trying really hard to keep it together, but you can tell he's fucking losing it. This literally, is literally, at the point when he says house Bobcat, I go house Bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> go Bobcats. Oh man. Uh, he says uh, the pips on the shirt indicate what year students they are. Uh, you guys are all very sharp-eyed. You notice the most pips on any of the shirts is six. So, it's, and uh, actually, probably five. They don't give a pip for first-year students, and then six-year gets five pips. Yay! Fuck them. Anyway, the sorting ceremony will take place in a few minutes in front of the rest of the school. I suggest you all smarten yourselves up as much as you can while you're waiting. At this point, the four students that are one from each of the houses that were there show you your sleeves exit, and then they come back in pushing this thing, which I will now unveil. There's only one of them, but it's a big uh, thing. It looks like multiple stumps kind of in a clump with holes in the middle of them. It's on a big push mm -hmm. table thing, and they are they push it in. One of the wheels, of course, is squeaky and a bit wobbly. There's a lot of cheers and stuff. Uh, hmm? What? That's the door. No, not the not the no, door. It's the, the big stump thing. No, the door. Our door downstairs. Someone oh. just knocked on. Someone just knocked at your house door, Logan. Excuse oh. me a moment. I think it's your underpants. The four XL. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> no, it's the stump. No, it's the fucking door. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh. <laughs> Classic. Some sort of fucking packet. Matt's actually turned red, no, at least on camera, from laughing it's so for hard. You, it's for you, I think. I think Excellent. Your, it's your underwear. Hooray! <laughs> I've been needing underwear. <sighs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not a door, stop. <laughs> so anyway, getting back to it. Uh, right. He he says um, everybody has to end up sticking their mm. hand mm. into mm. one of the holes, and. Uh, some people believe that which hole you put your arm into influences your brand others do not it hurts quite badly but you must hold back the pain for the pride of your new house now you guys are not first so you pretty, pretty much that. pretty much let my love life <laughs> <laughs> everybody take your cards you guys are fucking out of control the the english teacher just looks at you like what have we unleashed? <laughs> <laughs> so does he have a hump? Oh, oh, sorry. No. I got to um, quickly before we go on because it might be. Uh, oh, play here, let, me, let me move the card thing back for you guys so you can play. Just... Play immediately. What behind door number two? So uh -oh. enjoy. Yeah. Okay. So ten cards. Uh, and to play all play immediately. Hopefully, there will be some group Insta hero pods. By the way, just to let the players know, this is a information for the players. You do not have to play through six years of fucking Hogwarts. What I'm expecting, there are a couple of plots and shit that are going on here. Damn. It, it Russ pretty much escaped within an hour from the school. Gone. But you guys can explore the school as much as you want or as little as you want. You can do whatever plots you can find there or not. It's all up to you because there's a lot of different shit. And plus, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that people are going to keep getting drugged back to older zones and shit. So that's fine. There's shit going on at the school and a lot to explore, which I'll get to in a second. But first, Matt, are you good on your cards? Yeah, no, no play immediately. Hmm. Excellent. Right. What happens is uh, other kid, you're watching other kids stick their hands in there. Um, all the all the other kids politely clap unless the kid uh, uh, cried out or showed pain. A couple of kids actually faint beforehand and teachers have to pretty much pick them up and stick their hand in there. And oh, I just figured they'd be automatically be bobcats at that point. <laughs> oh, bobcats are a noble ancient house, sir. Um, oh, bobcats. Yeah. Now here, uh, what happens is when they when they take out their uh, their arms and show them to the crowd, it's one of these four different uh, things that show up. Yeah. See. So it's... Meow. <laughs> yeah. As in, it, so, so it's a is it a brand meow. or a tattoo? It, it 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 looks like a tattoo, but then it fades after a few seconds. Mm, so Skyrim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Hydra. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It, it's definitely some sort of magic tattoo thing. Now, um, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> stick your hand in. Okay. Now, uh, one one guy tried to do the pit pit. Hit, and something fucking grabbed him and stuck it in. He's like, ah, flailing around, and it zapped the fuck out. Whatever was in there. So apparently fucking with it just pisses off. So we're going to go in the order I've got you guys on my screen. And Chris, you're up first. Give me a All little right. power roll. You want times three or less not to embarrass yourself in front of your new house. Got it. Okay. Uh, times three, uh, you, you got some applause. You bore the pain well. We now go to Alex. 
Lower is better, of course. Willpower. All right. Willpower. Willpower. Times one. Times one. There's a lot of applause. You you stifled the yawn while it was going on. You're going to be starting off at this school with quite a leg up as they think you are either tough or brave or both. Well, stupid. <laughs> Well, yeah, quite possibly. Come on, Pete, give me a fucking fumble willpower so I can show the full spectrum of things that I have figured out for this role. Yeah, I fail. You I'd spy fail. five. You screamed and threw up from the pain. A couple of people put their hands together, but your house looks like it wishes it had gotten someone else instead. <laughs> Everybody believes you're a fucking wuss. So Come on, you <laughs> and you get called Neville by your own fucking teammates. So you are, as you guys all suspected, you are, of course, Team Bobcat, House Bobcat. Yay. Yay. Now, um, some interesting shit that happens during the big feast. The people serving the food are all elves. We're not talking house elves. We're talking full-size elves wearing, like, really beat-up clothing and shit. All of them uh, look like they would rather be wearing shirts with Bender that says, hey, baby, want to kill all humans? Also, in addition to their shitty clothes, all of them are wearing rune-encrusted uh, uh, shackles and a neck thing that's a nerd shackle, and they all have runes and shit on them. Are we, are we, um, talking, are we talking to say males from, like, the Beastlands? Uh-huh. The necromancer ones? Uh-huh. All right. Um, yeah. Simple knee-length knee tunics and hose, male and female. The arms are bare, uh, collars and wrist shackles, and they're overseen by a smattering of human slave masters who, of course, wear whips, because where there's a whip, there's a way. There's a way. <laughs> yep. Logan, when one of them is close to me in Latin, I want to be like, be strong, we'll free you someday. <laughs> Give me a, a, a Latin roll. Got it. Give me an empathy roll. Got it. You have never seen such utter contempt that he looks at you with. He gives you the same kind of look as if you said, I'm going to rape you and the rest of your family as soon as I'm done eating. No, I wink at him then. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. No problem. You feel that if you, uh, if it was possible to make a lifelong enemy in your first half an hour here, you've done it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's Chris, how you start. That's, how, that's the way it needs to go. Chris has his nemesis. <laughs> um, he's gonna be the hell, he's gonna be the elf that's constantly around the corner fucking with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> There's more announcements that happen while you guys are eating your feast. Uh, Pete's having problem keeping food down and shit because you know he's he's apparently gotten a lot weaker during the becoming 11 mm -hmm. years old thing. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to consult with your fellow student or house prefect. Um, the purpose of the Shadow Academy is to prepare you for your mandatory military service. Uh, uh, San Angeles is under the rule of the almighty Council of Shadows. Uh, for those of you who survived this long and difficult training, you will be well prepared to defend San Angeles and humanity from the various threats. After you finish with your meal, you'll be given a brief tour of the school, which will end at your common rooms. Well, at school, after you graduate, uh, your grades for the six years you are here will be tabulated to determine your spirit pentagram. And mm -hmm. the uh, also that little girl with the greasy skin uh, sits. Uh, uh, she's trying to. She's rubbing uh, uh, Joshua's back and stuff and trying to get him to eat. Is is it? Is she is she Bobcat? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was curious. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what is your name? She says that her name students, Logan can't remember. is Ollie. Ollie Bailey, she says. Don't take off your glasses after a few days, they'll all forget, she says. Okay. And, and then you guys are given a tour of the school, which I will now give you, and then I will explain what in the fuck is going on. Nice. Yes. Ah, oh, there it is. So, copy, and here it is in the anytime, anywhere chunk. 
let me know when you've all gotten and opened your uh, map thing. Map, 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 map. This will also give you some insight as to what Logan's bubble maps look like, as well as his convoluted. Oh, map. come on. Okay. Set up a Dropbox account to see this. No, uh, just download it. Just do a direct download. Yep. Oof. You don't need a Dropbox account. What is. Oh, right. I get you. Nah. Now, Pete, Pete suggested this because it's a fucking good way to get all this shit. Uh, show in folder? Uh, yes. And then double, it's just an image file, like normal PNG or whatever kind of image. Which ones are we going to be clicking on? Say again? Which ones are we meant to be clicking on? What do you, what mean? Do you mean? There's What's... one file. Once you direct download it, it should pop up. You're using Chrome, right? Yep. It'll be on the lower left-hand side. Yeah. Then you should be able to click on it and then select to open the folder or to open it. Oops. You got it, Matt? No. Okay, when you when you download it, then it gives like a little timer and stuff and it moves the bar up and it shows like uh, uh, and then you just double click it and it opens up. It's just an image file, it's a picture basically. I don't, I'm I'm going to download. Yeah. Direct download. Right. Yeah. And then it opens up. Should prompt you where to save the file. Or it's in your downloads folder. Okay, no, no, here it is. Okay, hold on. It's just taking forever. Holy shit. There you got it. <laughs> yes, I spend a lot of time working on this. There's also pictures and stuff. Now, here's here's the deal with it. Um, basically, if you want to go exploring some shit, you can say, like, for example, right now you're in the Great Hall and stuff. You can say, hey, uh, the Moon Guard Hall, we're going to explore around that, the areas we can go into and stuff. And... Um, there's some some stuff that isn't listed on your thing and i would tell you uh, there may be some roles like spot hidden or whatever uh if there's something special uh like for example uh off the great hall is backside door that goes to greenhouses staff corridor and then attached to the staff corridor which is out of bounds there's other stuff for example, that you can't get into unless you go in there or sneak in there or just walk in and go, I'm Alex Kinley, bitches, who's going to stop me? And then you'll discover you're 11 years old and they can just pick you up and put you somewhere else. So, um, yeah, the, essentially, uh, there's about 20% of interesting shit that's not shown on here. But unlike the subways, you don't have to explore all of it. You get a lot of it shown to you in your thing. And if you go over to uh, the uh, Bobcat Hall, then it shows you the, the weird stuffed Bobcat that's looking rather cheeky. And you guys will be staying in the boys' uh, dorm. And I would like to point out uh, that in Doc's, uh, on Doc's bed, somebody's left a Batman and Robin, com Robin comic for some odd reason. <laughs> hmm. So that's that part, and back to other shit. Let's see, is there anything else? Ah, your new possessions are the following. You get a book bag, it's satchel, like the side-slung satchel, 
uh, several school uniforms for daily wear, uh, workout clothing, gloves, leather, sturdy. These are serious gloves. You can go out and work with rose bushes and shit with these gloves and various uh, books for classes and shit. But being that you're kids again, nobody gives a shit. Um, at, eight or, at eight or night, according to the house prefect, uh, there's one boy prefect, one girl prefect per house. The girl one's looking rather nervous that someday uh, the woman with no name will come and fucking strangle her while she's sleeping. But at eight at night, everybody's supposed to be in the common room by 10. It's lights out in the sleeping rooms. Wake up time is like at eight and everybody meets in the morning for calisthenics down at the parade grounds. Um, now, what I'm what I'm going to do, if it's all right with you guys, is I'm going to run you through the first day, and then after that, uh, you'll have an idea of the kind of shit your guys do every day. But then we'll cut to like uh, the weekends or wherever when you have time off and you could go explore, do plots, whatever the fuck you're wanting to do. Okay, is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, first day. Um, it's a long ass school day. You get 13 classes in the day plus uh, PT, physical training. You wake up in the morning and drag your exhausted asses to bed at night. Um, now, each play session, not day, but play session, you're going to get a few different checks. Not all the classes give checks. If they don't, it's assumed that unless you irritate the teacher, you'll pass them with flying colors if you care. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cut to weekends or cut to whenever time works for you. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to run a fucking Harry Potter campaign. But uh, everybody wakes up at 7.30. They rush down their parade grounds. Calisthenics for an hour, followed by washing up breakfast, first class. All the classes are really large. No roll call is done. Um, the teachers always seem a bit hazy on you guys. Okay, like, oh, yeah, those guys are there. Like, if you weren't there, they might not even register it. Theater is taught by Nigel St. Nigel. He says, welcome to theater. We are going to have a preliminary line reading to see where your acting skills are. <laughs> it's only half as bad as the preceding classes. It will still be a comfort to the world that many of you will die in training here. And others will give your lives for San Angeles. Everybody, please roll their acting, mimicry, and talent. Oh, <laughs> theater class with this fucking group. Mimicry. And... Yay. <clears throat> so mimicry and talent. talent. What'd you say? Acting, mimicry, talent. And mimicry <clears throat> will be acting. Right. Act Great. Acting was at like a fifth. Nope. Nice. Got mimicry, got talent. Hmm. Yours is acceptable. You can sit over there. Um, anybody else? <laughs> I got my acting. I didn't get my mimicry. And I got my talent. Hmm. Pete, did you do worse than Chris? I Clearly, got my this acting. was written poorly, and I go back to the world. <laughs> 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 I got I got my acting. I did not get my mimicry, and I fumbled my talent. <laughs> He tells you, your performance makes me want to weep and die. Next, Success. We can arrange that. <laughs> he rolls his eyes at you. Now, uh, your guys check for the session in this class. Uh, one of you, only one. Uh, we'll do Chris. Roll a D8. You're all going to get the same thing. You don't learn different shit. So, Chris, give me a D8 roll, please. It Eight. doesn't matter if it's high or low. Eight? Everybody gets a check in dance, ballet. Sweet. <laughs> Only this group would be excited by holding their ballet. One of during class, one of the little girls raised her hand and when called on asked, Is the Phantom still hunting the theater? All of the other girls squeal. Some of the boys look uncomfortable, others curious. Nigel saying Nigel rolls his eyes and he says, the Phantom has not been seen this year at all. The girl goes, but the school year is just starting. And he says, I'm sure you will be perfectly safe from his prying eyes. With the quality of performance I'm seeing, I think it will go into deep, deep hiding. 
Next up is cryptozoology with McCone. She's the uh, lady who was uncertain whether they should kill your ass or not. After wandering around muttering incomprehensibly to herself, she stands in front of her class and she says, cryptozoology, I'm going to teach you what the different creatures are and how to kill them. If you don't know, yes. if you don't kill them, they will kill you, your friends, your families. Sweet. <laughs> hmm. She likes that attitude. Uh, you guys all get to check in cryptozoology. Basically, this skill allows the uh, players to know stuff that they personally might know from like D and D monster manuals, etc. Uh, it won't work for the really weird, fucked up. Uh, like Logan just made some weird creature. What the fuck is he thinking? But other more common creatures it will help with. Next up, English class, uh, taught by Sidney Claw. Uh, relatively normal class. He never so ignores you guys. Uh, Matt, roll high or low for me to see what all three of you are going to learn, please. Hi. You guys all get a check in philosophy. Ooh. Now, just so you guys know how you get a, like, Pretty much if during a session you guys go, we attend classes, then I've got a list of different checks, assuming you actually get through the classes, don't burn down the school, et cetera, then you'll get multiple checks for that. But it's not like day by day we learn. No, you get like for the session, you get checks. Next up, Tony Ramirez. He has weird ass golem legs that carry around this apparently crippled teacher. He has a huge amount of personal magnetism. Almost all of the girls and a few of the boys hang on his every word. Give me spot hidden rolls. Got it. Bumble. Matt, you are fucking absorbed into this guy's eyes. They are just so, so dreamy. wise and dreamy. <laughs> yes. So, uh, anybody make uh, your spot? No? Yes. Okay. You notice he has scuffed shoes, wear marks on the soles, stuff like that, Chris. Okay. Also, the weird golem legs seem to be giving out some sort of odorless steam that dissipates quickly, but it's not steam. Uh, let's see. In this class, you guys get to find out about the... Uh, uh, spirit pentagrams because teacher does question and answer with some of the air students. He doesn't really call on you guys and stuff, which is kind of me, but he asked uh, one of the students, what does having a spirit pentagram do? Uh, the student says, it helps identify you as human. Great. And what do you do if you see someone casting magic without a spirit pentagram? Tell the guards. Why? They're probably shape-shifting monsters. Uh, next up, you guys uh, head to Oh, wait, is he? Ah, also, um, if you guys need would like to know anything about history, this is history class and stuff. Uh, the main thing is that uh, all of the magic and stuff is called, when it started, it's called the rending, and it was about 70 years ago that it started. Current year, 2151, for those who care. Mm-hmm. Next up, you guys go to Magical Sciences, taught by Luz Estevez, twitchy one-eyed lady who seems aloof and unfriendly. Give me psychology rolls, please. Got it. Wow, you are great at psychology. I'm a fucking doctor, yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it as well. She seems to be suffering from massive PTSD. You're not sure why she's teaching children. Her right hand twitches a bit. And when she opens her mouth to begin teaching the class, it's in a strange language, as is your textbook. Everybody, give me Mandarin rolls, please. What? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, wait, I have Mandarin skill already. Excellent. Oh, good. <laughs> Anybody else make theirs? No. Right. No problem. Uh, is, a, is that a fumble? I don't know. No, it can't be. Uh, no, you're, you're learning well, to, not yeah. to be a fumble. Yeah. No problem. Uh, Chris and Chris only roll a D20 until you get a number between one and 14 inclusive plays. Eight. Uh, you get a check in, uh, the first level of the healing tree, which I'll tell you which spell that is in just a second. The rest of you guys, pardon? 
I can tell you that. I've got the healing tree. Oh, cure poison slash disease. That's the one. Cool. The rest of you guys uh, and uh, are sent to Remedial Mandarin. Nice. It's you two and also this other kid who looks at you and he kind of looks a little uh, and he goes, I'm from Canada and so they think I'm slow, eh? Mm, get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, you, you guys. And I walk away. <laughs> and uh, let's see, uh, uh, Chris, or sorry, uh, Matt and Pete, you guys both get a check in Mandarin. Uh, pretty much the only way you're going to get checks in the spells, because for some reason they're only taught Mandarin, she only speaks Mandarin to the class, and everybody, including the traitorous doctor, seems to understand perfectly what she's talking about. Bitch. <laughs> uh, you're not sure what's up with that. But uh, then it, it's a break for lunch, and you guys have several kids that just sit with you guys. Like, you're our group now. Uh, I'm going to copy paste the names into uh, uh, roll 20. If you care, if you don't, that's okay too. Are it's... they all from the Bobcat? Yep, of course they are. You eat lunch with your own house. To do otherwise is probably treasonous. 